So, you'll want to play some Wolfenstein 3D on your computer. But you don't want to go through the whole hassle of setting it up through DOSBox or, you know, pulling out the old computer from your grandmother's house. And this is the right video. You want to play it on your computer. So, <clears throat> what is the best way to do this? Let me show you. First, I'm going to explain what a source port is. A source port is a software project based on the source code of a game engine that allows the game to be played on operating systems or computing platforms with which the game was not originally compatible. In other terms, it's not emulation. Completely different. It does not try to emulate other PC hardware. It is almost as close to as bare metal as you're going to get. So what we're going to be doing here basically is taking the Wolfenstein files some of them, and placing them in the same directory as the Wolfenstein uh, source port right here. This is called EC Wolf. It's basically a Wolfenstein 3D source port. So what we're going to do here first is obviously download it. Find the operating system that you use, download it in this tutorial. This will be how you do it on Windows, but I would imagine it's the same way you would do it on Mac OS. Um, you want to take these files that you have here, and you want to extract them into a new folder. Now, you probably notice here, hey, what's that other setup file, Bozy? Well, this is probably the easiest question mark way that you're going to be able to find your Wolfenstein 3D files that you need. Um, check this out here. So we double click EC Wolf and we get an error message. This is because we do not have our Wolfenstein files that we need. So you can legitimately, quote unquote, <laughs> download the GOG release of the Wolfenstein 3D files. We have definitely read the EULA and we're going to wait for it to install. After it is finished, we can launch it, and of course, you know, as we launch it, we have the original DOSBox release, but that's not what we're looking for. We are not looking for the original DOSBox release. Of course, if you are looking for that, you could continue from there. But we are looking for a way to play it with the source port. So go to your local disk, go to your GOG games, go to Wolfenstein 3D, and we're going to make sure that we have it sorted by type. And we're doing that because, as you can see, we have all of these WL6 files. We're going to copy all of these WL6 files, and we're going to put them in the same directory as our EC Wolf source port. We're going to double click on it, and if everything goes to plan, yep. This is the Wolfenstein 3D source port. We can go to options, display options, make it full screen. We can change the aspect ratio. We're gonna hope it respects that. I'm not really sure how to save in all honesty. How to save that, oh. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm gonna look for a 1920 by Let's see, 1920 by 1080. And there we go. This is, in my personal opinion, the best way that you can play Wolfenstein. Let's uh, customize these controls. Yep. And we're gonna, whoops, we're gonna play the game. Now, unfortunately, this is one of those where you can actually move up and down with the mouse. Not a really big fan of that, but I'm sure you can disable that. I'm sure of it. You can also, if I remember right, yeah, always run. I need that always run, in all honesty. 
I need to feel like I'm playing fast. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh... This is the best it's probably gonna get, in my personal opinion. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That is essentially playing Wolfenstein 3D in a source port. I hope that I explained as well as I possibly could. And um, yeah, happy Wolfensteining.